Good day, I am Dr. Rafai, the virtual nephrologist, and I wanna to talk to you about this new virus that we have been hearing about called the Omicron virus, or the new variant Omicron COVID corona virus. And I wanted to simplify this as a doctor, giving advice to regular people around me so you would understand exactly what is going on and that you make a decision for yourself about what you wanna do with this new variant. There are four fundamental questions that you need to ask yourself, and I can answer some of those questions for you, but you also need to be on the lookout to answer those questions. Question number one, or fundamental question number one, is this virus more contagious? Meaning that if we are further than six feet apart or two meters apart, is it going to affect us? And the answer seem to be yes, it is, it is more contagious. So people that are even at a further distance are becoming more infected with that virus. So yes, the answer to this fundamental question, it is more contagious. So people in a room, people are, are less social distancing, have a higher chance if they're exposed to somebody with this variant to have more chance of contracting that virus and getting sick with it. So the next fundamental question that poses itself, is this virus more virulent? More virulent means, does it cause more disease? So far, what we have seen and all the authorities from South Africa, from Singapore, from California, that this virus has less tendency to cause loss of smell, loss of taste, and definitely less tendency to attack itself into the lung tissue and cause what we call respiratory failure, ventilators, um, respiratory ICU, um, even death. So fortunately, this virus is a little bit gentler than the original wicked virus of the original uh, Corona or SARS-19 uh, uh, virus. So we know it's more contagious, but it is most likely less aggressive. Now, why is that important? The reason that is important is now we ask the next question or the next fundamental question is, what if I have been vaccinated or what I have natural immunity? And the answer to this has been also not very clear but preliminary reports support the notion that if you have been vaccinated, if you have been, received the booster or you have had natural immunity, the chances of this causing serious illness also are uh, very low. No, so far, no established medical authority have supported or denied this. So the answer and still out, there is no uh, definite answer about this. And last but not least, fundamental answer is, is this virus evading and hiding without us detecting it? And the answer is no. So the PCR test that we do for the original coronavirus, the lateral flow or the antigenic testing that we do for uh, original virus, they still can detect that virus very easily. So in reality, that we still have fundamental questions that do not have a definite answer about. So I'm not sure if at this time we can make concrete conclusion based on science about how to change our behavior, how to change our travel, how to change our life based on science, not based on politics and presumptive uh, fear. Now, this virus is definitely a little bit different than the original virus, and it mainly has 50 different mutations, meaning 50 different parts of that virus are different than the original virus. 20 of those are on the surface and 30 are on the spike protein. The spike proteins are the hooks that allow the virus to attack itself into the human cells or mainly the lung cells. So it is a little bit different, and this is where the vaccine and the antibodies neutralize the spike protein. So in a way, there may be some concerns there, but so far clinically has not proven to be the case. But what do we do about it? I really wanna focus and redirect you into means that you can work on to improve your own immunity. And these have been over the past year and a half repetitively proven themselves to be effective in improving your immunity as this is a fitness immune test rather than a just a let's get the virus exposure and see what we can do. First thing you need to do, make sure you take adequate amount of vitamin D. Next thing you need to do, make sure that you have healthy gut by eating healthy, do not eat any processed food and make sure you take good probiotics in 
Third, make sure you are on a low carbohydrate diet as low carbohydrate will boost and improve your immunity. Four, make sure you have a good night's sleep. Six to eight hours of good night's sleep will really improve your immunity and ability to fight infections. Last but not least, if you can do some exercise in your seat, in your place, in your house, in your yard, in your street, in your neighborhood, take the time to do that. That also will boost your immunity with this. Stay healthy, stay safe. I hope this was easy to simplify what you need to do about what we are hearing about from a doctor to a patient, to a regular people with no political management policy twist to it. With this, stay healthy, stay safe. Love you all. I'm Dr. Rafai, the virtual nephrologist.